Hello everybody. Welcome to our new series of videos, the masterpiece construction. Today, we are going to talk about one of our most challenging project in human history. It is a structure for 5 and a half kilometer in Persian Gulf. Yes, we are talking about the Palm Jumeirah. This structure is so huge that it can be seen from space. This mega structure built from only rock and sand faces natural disasters frequently but do you know why it was built do you know why it is in palm shape engineers had to face a new challenge after they tackled one and why the environmentalists think the island will be drowned one day so if you are ready to find the answers let's jump into the today's video titled dubai's masterpiece the palm jumeirah so the first question is why it was built dubai is like a jewel for arab countries but it was not always like this 50 years ago dubai was just a trading town for merchants in a few years dubai made a terrific advancement and made itself number 1 tourist destination due to its oil reserves but it was estimated that the dubai will finish all its oil till 2016 so they have to make an alternative source of income crown prince sheikh mohammed bin rashid al maktoum decided to transform his kingdom from a oil country to a tourist attraction country every year about 50 lakh tourists come to dubai which the crown prince want to increase to 150 lakh tourists but now the problem is dubai has 72 km coastline which cannot afford more than 100 lakh tourists that's why an artificial island is needed the shape of island was decided as palm because it maximizes its beach length palm jumeirah has 56 km coastline so 72 plus 56 is equal to 128 coastline that is enough for 150 lakh tourists now rashid wanted world's best engineers for this project The Dutch team was hired for this purpose. It is land reclamation team which had extended Netherlands landmass by 35%. But Rashid asked the team to prove that this island could stand in water. The Dutch team assured him that it can only be made by breakwater. But the engineers will have to take care of storms, especially shamal storms that came every winter. According to engineers, three meter wide and eleven and a half meter long breakwater is enough. But the engineers can't wait for any research. They wanted to start the construction immediately. August two thousand one, the construction started. The breakwater team had two years to complete the breakwater. Then island team will start. It had not been a month that nine eleven attack. on world trade center occurred all the tourism in middle east got finished the engineers thought in dubai there was a risk of their lives and they went back to their homes november 2001 engineers came back and continued the project the loads of trucks were sent from hills for large rocks these large rocks are actually the main item of safety The construction continued and came January 2002. The first set of breakwater of 550 meters got completed. It was a very proud moment for team. But now there's a problem. Shamal storms. Storm stopped the work of construction for three weeks. The deadline is coming close. April 2002. The first. 550 meter breakwater is now 3 meter above water now it was the time to find the source of 9 crore 40 lakh cubic meter sand this level of sand means dumping the whole manhattan here dubai is full of sand and then why they don't use it dubai sand is not suitable enough for making an island it is not coarse to hold the island this sand will drown in water in few seconds but thankfully engineers found the right sand 11 km away from palm jumeirah 
the construction is going the right way. But the engineer suspects that if the island is making the palm shape, Rashid had the solution. 676 km away from Dubai in space, Rashid can see pictures and see if it is going the right way. August 2002, one year is completed. Engineers used state-of-art technology to put the sand in the right place. A team of five members made a round every day around Palm Jumeirah and they sent signals to put the sand in the right place. And now it is going all well. And it came October 2002. Two thirds of breakwater is accomplished. But now again problem stagnant water. The flow of water is not going according to the plan. It can lead to a huge problem. The fresh water is not available. But there is a solution. After many days of design changes, they came to a solution that the breakwater should have two corridors in breakwater for entry and exit for fresh water. Now it was August 2003. Two years has been completed and breakwater mission is also completed. Just on time. The palm leaves are now raised on the sea. The foundation has been completed. Now it was the time to build buildings on island. But now again there is a problem. How to build buildings on sand? The sand is not hard yet to build buildings. The team is gathering ideas for sand hardening. They are making 2 lakh holes and inserting grills into sand. The land shakes and land becomes hard. This process is repeated until it becomes rock hard. It took 8 months to make land hard. March 2004 40,000 persons were hired to build structures. There were many tasks to do. Gas pipes, water pipes, malls, bridges, etc. Do you know, the Palm Jumeirah was originally made for only 60,000 people. But due to high demand, it was increased to 1,20,000. And finally, in 2006, the Palm Jumeirah came on the world map. And surprisingly, the total property was sold out within three days. The world's largest man-made island is a great achievement, but problem is not over yet. The environmentalists have noticed 5 to 10 meter shoreline is eroding every year. But what about earthquakes? Dubai is located in major earthquake zone. When an earthquake will hit, it will drown the island. Will Palm Jumeirah? will able to survive then comment down below thanks for watching if you learned something new today like the video and share this video to all your friends and family if you do not want to miss all these brain booster videos subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon i'll meet you guys in next video till then stay on factor